What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and welcome to Secret Rares Revealed video. All of the cards are now out and we got Secret Rares and they're just busted, they're, they're stupid good, like they, these cards are just flat out insane. And we're gonna be covering them in this video along with lines of play, how to play them optimally and stuff like that. But before we begin this video, huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our $2 and up patrons, they buy us coffee. They keep this crazy machine going and guys, thanks a lot for your support. If you wish to join the coffee club, link to our Patreon is in the description below. And I think that's about everything. Run the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown. So both SCRs have been revealed and these cards are just wow. We'll start by explaining how SCRs work in this game. They work differently than in Dragon Ball Super Card Game Masters. Then I'm gonna give you a card breakdown, I'm gonna show you lines of play, how to play them optimally, what works against them, what doesn't, what makes them so broken, yeah? We're gonna show you everything, we're gonna go super into detail, and then we're just gonna end the video, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Let's start by explaining how SERs work. So SERs, or Secret Rares, are among the most powerful cards in the set. And unlike in Dragon Ball Super Card Game Masters, in Fusion World, you can have up to 4 copies of the same SCR, and you can have multiple SCRs in the deck. In, uh, in Masters, you have this skill called Ultimate, all SCRs have it, and that restricts them to only one in a deck, um, and you don't have this in Fusion World. So in this game, we can just play up to 4 copies of an SCR. Which is really, really strong, guys. You will see these, these cards are well. Um, anyway, other than that, they follow all the same rules as any other card of the same type, but different rarity. So it doesn't matter that they are secret rares. If there is a battle card which is a secret rare, everything that affects a normal battle card is gonna affect it. That's basically it. Now let's check them out. Let's start with the first SCR and that's Green Gohan. Yeah, Green got an SCR. Look at this absurd powerhouse. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this card, trust me, it looks crazy on the first glance. And then the more you start digging into it, the crazier it gets. First off, it's 7 cost, 50k. Now you might be thinking 7, that's a lot, but Green ramps, it's, it's not really. On play, discard one card from your hand, and then choose all of your opponent's battle cards, all of them, with a cost of 5 or less and KO them. Then this card can't attack for the turn. So basically, it's a board wipe. It just wipes the board. However, it has some really, really cool things going for it. Because it is 50k and costs 7, it dodges every removal in the game. Except for 8 cost Broly from the Broly starter deck. It dodges everything. You can't remove this thing with anything else other than Broly. I mean, you can, but it's gonna cost you a lot. We will talk about this very soon. But first, to properly evaluate this card, let's see how fast we can actually get this card out. How fast can we actually get to 7 energy? So, this is basically the guide turn three you charge your third energy right then you pay free to play destructive strength it ramps you for one now you're on four turn four you charge for the turn now you're on five and then you pay five for either cell or, or turless both ramp you for one energy so now you're on six and then turn five you charge one energy at the start of the turn, and now you have seven. Now you can play Gohan. Uh, the important thing to know is you can't play this card sooner. You can't. It doesn't work even in Androids. Even with the field card, you can't get to seven sooner than turn five. At least at this point in the game. Maybe we'll be able to do so in the future. But, but if you go second you can use the energy marker to start ramping on turn 2. So, that's cool. It's not gonna make this entire play any faster, but it's going to change the lines of play, basically, because Green Saiyans have 
a four cost Vegeta that uh, also ramps. So then you're gonna have uh, ramps on what's gonna be your turn two. Then you're gonna be uh, then you're gonna be ramping on three, on four, and then you can on five play this one. It's ju it just changes the curve, but it doesn't matter which green deck you can't play the SCR before turn five. Now let's talk about the best part of this card. Yeah, the ramp wasn't the fast play wasn't even the best part. This is how do you kill it? How do you KO this Gohan? You can't really. Because of two reasons. First, he costs 7. And there is no card except for Broly 8 cost from the starter deck in the entire game that can KO a 7 cost battle card. None of them can do that. Because all of them are locked to either power thresholds, let's say like uh, God Kamehameha says uh, 30 power 30k power or less, or they are locked behind a cost threshold, which is more often than not, when it says uh, cost 4 or less, 5 or less, but nothing hits cost 7, except for Broly, because Broly KOs anything, but Broly is locked to green and he costs 8. So good luck removing this thing. Then... Then the other big part is uh, his power being 50k. So outside of green, which is Broly, the only other color which can actually deal with this thing is red. However, it's super costly. Let's say that you went first, right? So your opponent is on turn 4 when you're on turn 5. You play Gohan, you wipe their board. Now they charge. There's no effect that gets rid of 50k. Nothing minuses by 50k. So they need to save, for example, uh, one energy for Mafuba to bring him to 35, and then three energy for time skip to KO it, because time skip KOs 35. That's four energy wasted to get rid of this thing. Or they go Beerus plus Mafuba, and then that brings it to 25k, and then God Kamehameha. And that's less energy used, but more resources. So it's it's very very difficult to remove this thing once it hits the board. If you're playing against yellow or blue, they literally can't do anything. They can't remove it. If you play against green, yeah, there's Broly. If you play against red, you're gonna kill multiple removals from their hand before they actually remove the Gohan. So yeah, this one is pretty insane. Let's check out the other one. The other SCR is Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. Yes, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku is here. And this one is insane as well. Gohan, I understand. Cost 7, super strong. Goku, just thinking that you can have more copies of this is extremely terrifying. So, 30k for cost. On play. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and give it minus 15. Yeah, sure. This is gonna get insane on the next slide. Auto, uh, when this card KOs an opponent's battle card in battle, deal one damage to your opponent. So it's a burn effect. Yes, Goku is basically burn effect in red. It's a way to deal damage without swinging at the leader. And trust me guys, in red that's huge. It's easier to get battle cards to low powers than to actually deal damage to the leader. The on play minus effect is a huge deal. It's be this entire card is basically board control plus burn. Yeah. And now if you're wondering what's the best way to play this card, what's the best way to use it? Well, here's an example. Okay, let's say that you're playing Beerus. And you're looking at like what to KO, I have Goku in hand. What do I KO? Look, there is a Gohan in rest mode, he's 30k. So you say okay, B4, play Goku. His own playability triggers and you make Gohan 15k, you give it minus 15. Then you use Beerus as activate main. If you don't know what it does, it gives minus 10k to a battle card for the turn. You target Gohan again. He's now 5. And then you swing at him with Goku. Your 35k before comboing, before anything, versus 5k. 
that Gohan is not surviving this attack. He, he's not living through this. You KO him, and then you automatically deal damage to the leader. That's how you play Goku. So when you play him, you always minus the card that you're going for, the card that you're looking to attack, and then you swing it to him. If it's a bigger if it's a bigger card, if you're expecting a meta, a tall meta with big cards, then you play Beerus as well. And then you just take minus 25k off of something and swing 30 in it. I wrote 35, it's actually 30. Uh, it's easier to do it like this than to swing into a 20k leader. Because it's only 10k power difference. So yeah, that's how you play the Goku SCR. An important thing to know about Goku, because Goku becomes even better when you know this. There are no activate battle cards in the game that can stop or remove Goku from this attack. None of them can actually remove him or stop him. So when he swings, he connects. He always connects if there is something to swing into, which is just crazy. Yeah, it's it's really terrifying. But but because he is only a four cost, he very likely won't survive until your next turn. There are a lot of things that are gonna hit a four cost. 30k doesn't even matter at this point. Like four cost is really not that hard to remove. So read this card as P4, remove a battle card and deal one damage, which is amazing, <laughs> which is really, really amazing in a game where you can play four of these. Yeah, you can just play four of them. Just go, go deal damage. Absurd. Absolutely amazing card. Before we end the video, let's quickly jump into the summary. The secret rares are just mind-blowingly good. Absolutely mind-blowingly good. These will be staples in the color. These will be must-have cards for a very, very long period of time until they get power trapped, which is going to be pretty hard to do. So you need to get multiples of them. You don't need four copies of Gohan. I, I don't believe that any deck will ever run four copies of Gohan. But if you're playing red, you definitely need four copies of Goku. So go and get your Gokus, guys. The game isn't out yet. I know there's gonna be a question about pull rates. We don't know the pull rates yet. However, because this game uh, follows the same principle as One Piece when it comes to secret rares, the pull rates will likely be similar to One Piece rates. So uh, yeah, they're gonna be more often than they are in Masters. Because in Masters you get one secret rare in, what's like, six boxes, two per case. So yeah, that, that's it's really rare. Here they're going to be much more common. So unlike in Masters, because the pull rates might be better, if they are better, this card will, these cards will be much more affordable. Which is great. That's always great. That's it for the video! Let me know in the comments below which SCR do you like more, Goku or Gohan? I'm a green player, so I'm always gonna gravitate towards green cards, but I really like the artwork on this Goku. The artwork is insane. It's really, really cool. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And guys, while you're here, hit those like and subscribe buttons, share the video, help us get to 4k subs when I'm gonna give away a booster box. This has been Damien from the Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.